Hey guys! So, we're gonna be doing a studio vlog this week because actually, while I'm recording this, I'm coming up to a vacation. I'll be going on a trip very soon. I'll be getting on a plane and going to the US, which is very exciting. Um, and I need have a couple of things that I want to do, want to get done before that happens. And all of it is very making related. So I wanted to take you along in the next couple of days while I'm getting things in order. And uh, yeah, just come along with me as I prepare all of uh, my vacation projects and finish up some projects that I want to have done. But first, oh my gosh, look, this is my cumulus tea all done. Looking really good. I'm actually really happy with how it drapes and everything. I think it looks really great. Um, nice and cute with high-waisted jeans a little tucked in there. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. Sorry, my head's cut off, but I am really happy with how this looks. Uh, nice neutral top. Okay, so specifically what I want to get done before I'm on vacation. I would like to prepare all of the yarn that I want to bring. So I need to think through what projects do I want to take with me? What's reasonable? Because let's be honest, <laughs> I have very high aspirations, very lofty knitting and making goals for myself. So um, I'm probably going to take more stuff than what I actually need to bring and what I'll have time for. Because I mean, I will be going to a warm place around the beach, which will be very nice because this summer in Belgium is not really a summer at all. So I'm very looking forward to being in the sun. So I'll need to bring some things that are, you know, weather appropriate. Um, not really like big projects, I think. If I do bring a big like sweater project, it will have to be a lightweight sweater, something with like a light fiber. Need to prepare some yarn, so I'm gonna be winding up some yarn right now. And um, then I have a petite knit, the novice cardigan that I just showed you last week. Um, I have finished it. It is currently blocking right now. It's still a little too damp, but eventually I wanna be able to sew the buttons on for those. I have some really cute buttons. Um, because actually I'm taking that cardigan with me to gift somebody while I'm there. So that's very important to bring. Cannot forget that. And um, I do have some projects that I am currently working on. I am being a little silly <laughs> and very ambitious again, making a bunch of things before I go. Sewing projects mainly, as well as, um, uh, yeah, finally packing up all of the me made items, selecting the me made items that I want to bring with me and packing those into my bag. So we've got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, so let's get to it. The first thing that I want to do is wind up this yarn. This is uh, Stargazing by Woolly Mammoth Fiber Company. I talked about it in my last knitting podcast. I want to know what I should make with it. So I'm going to cake it up. I think it's one of the things I will bring with me on my trip. I know I'm supposed to hold this yarn right here, but honestly, it's, it's better for me to hold the base because it could fall off of my table. But anyway, I'm going to go through and probably wind up a whole bunch of these skeins because um, since I'll be in the plane and traveling around, it's just so much easier to pull the yarn from. It's like when you're working with cakes, um, it's just, yeah, it's just so much easier. And neater, I'm kind of hoping that no one will be next to me on the flight so that I won't have to worry about bothering them with all my knitting and I can have like everything on next to me. But I don't know if I'll be so lucky. I have no idea what it's gonna be like actually to fly. So um, it will uh, be better that I wind them up in cakes so then I don't have uh, any skeins rolling around. Yeah, but for this yarn, I think the safe option is socks. But I'm wondering if there's gonna be anything else that I can make with it because I do, uh, always need a pair of socks, you know? You always need a pair of socks. And this is a very fun skein. Like these are very fun colors for socks, but then it's almost too special for socks. So I don't know. 
but I don't want to sit on it for many, many uh, months and, or years like I have with some other skeins just because I've liked it. I'm going to use this. I'm going to take this with me and I'm going to start making something out of it. I, I will. <laughs> I am determined to do that. <laughs> Nice. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh yeah, I really love this. This is beautiful. It's all nice. It's nice and squishy. Really good. Yeah. Definitely taking this with me. So I don't have any other Hanks. So the Swift is done for today. I'm, I did purchase some Hanks though, so I will be using it again very soon, but not for a couple of weeks because they still need to be dyed and delivered. Am I in focus? I can't even tell. See, I don't have a viewfinder on this, so uh, it's very difficult for me to tell. Am I in focus now? I am not a professional. Do not mistake me as a professional. Okay, so this is Demma's rib top. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Um, I love her patterns. I've actually had my eye on a couple of her patterns and this rib top specifically. It just came out, I think, only a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a month or so ago. I have this cotton that I harvested from uh, the Laura sweater I was working on by Wall and the Gang, I decided I didn't really want to continue working on it. Uh, I didn't need it in my closet. So I'm going to use some of that uh, cotton for this project right here. And like I said, I cast this on last night. Lots of great progress. I'm actually impressed because, well, I mean, it's knit in two strands. Actually, it's knit in three strands, but the particular cotton that I'm using is a little bit thicker. So I've got two strands going on five millimeter needles and it's a ribbed top and it's going to be a perfect summer top because where I'm going is much hotter than where I'm at currently so I want to make sure that I have plenty of summer things um, that I just don't need here. I'm on like a making marathon right now so I'm making this right now for my trip and then I have some sewing projects that I'm working on. I'm going to make tonight some uh, lounge pants um, and then later this week, uh, a bathing suit. So we'll see if I get that done. I will definitely follow up with you guys if that is the case. Great news. My uh, petite knit novice cardigan is all nice and dry, which is really good because we're running out of time. I only have like two days left until I have to leave. And uh, this just finished blocking. Nice, beautiful. I'm gonna try it on. Uh, definitely loosened up a little bit because I have been nervous about the size of this cardigan. I'm still a little nervous about the size of this cardigan. I know that my grandmother is nice and petite, but I hope that it fits. <laughs> and if anything, you know, I should just like wear it unbuttoned, right? But we need to sew buttons on to the pockets. So I have my buttonholes on this side. And... The buttons are going to be sewn onto the side of the cardigan. Very excited about how it turned out. I think it's really beautiful and I think finally the camera is picking it up in the true color that it actually is. I feel like every time that I've photographed or filmed this, uh, this cardigan progress, the progress of it, it just looks completely different. So I think, while I don't have a viewfinder, I have a mirror behind you and uh, I can kind of see that it looks like it's the right color, which is fantastic. But I really love the fit of this. It's a really just like cute cardigan. For the record, I knit a size medium with Drops Design yarn, both Drops Air and Drops Kid Silk. And it's really nice in sage green. Really love it. It's knit on size six and a half and six millimeter needles. So I feel like it is a pretty quick project. Mm. And I think it looks really cute. So let me show you what buttons I actually have for this because you guys helped me pick it out, pick them out over on Instagram. Um, I had quite a few options and I think I've made my decision on what I'm going to go with. 
<laughs> so I had these uh, tan and brown, and then these like slate gray buttons. And I asked you guys over on Instagram what you guys thought. And I think we were all pretty split. I think um, it was a really close voting session, but Slate Gray ended up winning and that was my honest, honestly my preferred one. So I think that's what we're gonna go with, the Slate Gray option. All right, you guys, here is everything that I'm going to take as of today, less than 24 hours from my uh, flight. This is what I'm going to be taking with me. So I have a couple of works in progress that I'm bringing. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be too much. It might not even be enough. I'm going to be gone for about like 14 days or so. So I think some of these I would definitely finish, like this one right here, which is Probably going to be finished tomorrow during my flight. Uh, it's Demma's rib, rib top I showed you earlier. I, as you can see, even in the last two days, I've had a lot of progress on this one. A few more balls of shiny happy cotton if I need them. I don't know. I really don't know if I will. So, but for now, gonna pack that. Uh, then I fished out my work in progress for this just vanilla sock. Um, if you've been around for a while, you know that I've had this one on my needles for a while. So I'm excited to get that one done. So this is the second of a pair. So after I finish that one, um, I'll have a completed set, which is really great. Then I have another work in progress that I showed you last week during the knitting podcast. And this is just going to be a v-neck sweater knit with Noro yarn. So this one right here. Um, yeah, I caked up one of them. And then after doing so, and comparing to what I still have from my first skein, I don't really want to prepare and take more of it, so maybe I'll add that second skein just to be on the safe side, but then I'm not, I'm not really sure if I'm going to want to work on this one too, too much, so we'll see, uh, because it might be really hot. So that in mind, I brought um, this right here, this um, cotton because this one is part of a kit, a crochet kit. So I was thinking that crochet, I would have a lot of spare time to be able to crochet. Um, just because by the way, if I haven't already mentioned, I'm gonna be going to like a, a beach pool. So I'll be like poolside a lot. I will be um, at the beach. So lots of time for knitting, not as much like city exploring. So that's why I'm bringing so many works in progress. I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, so that's really it for what I'm going to be bringing. And when I say that's really it, I know that that seems like a lot. I'll report back on what I actually end up making, what I actually get done. I'm really curious myself. Um, but another thing that I thought would be really cool to show you during this video is what I'm going to bring with me that's me made. Um, actually, also while doing this video, I've embarked on a very ambitious journey to make a bunch of things for my trip. Um, I don't know why in the last week I just decided, yeah, I'm just gonna, 
I don't know, start sewing a whole bunch of stuff. So it is not as much knitting stuff more than like sewing stuff, but uh, I think you'll still find it interesting anyway. So these in the last week, this is what I've made myself um, to take with me on this trip. And uh, I will start from this side. I actually made two pairs of pants uh, drafted from actually the pants that I'm wearing right now. I don't know if you can see, but they're like really comfortable lounge pants. And I saw this like ribbed, uh, thick ribbed um, fabric from Family Fashion Fabrics, which I think it's just mainly for like babies, <laughs> but I really like their solid colors. I think it's really beautiful. Um, so they had this beautiful lilac color, um, like dusty lilac. And then they also had this, I think it's called pecan. So I made two different uh, types. One was drafted on these pants, and then I had a pair of Levi's that I really like because when I made these, um, if I bring them back open again, a little bit more of a looser fit than, um, well, than these because, okay, so these were like a looser fit and I was like, this is really nice to lounge around in for sure. Definitely gonna love to wear that over top of my bathing suit. Uh, just like go to the beach in like loose fitting clothing. That's really what I like want right now for the summer. And these, I made them a little bit more form-fitting. So they're a little bit tighter, um, pretty cute, really cute. I really like them. Um, yeah, and what I just did was follow the Essentials Club. So if you don't already follow the Essentials Club, I don't really know what you're doing because she makes amazing tutorials. So I would highly recommend her. And also this top right here, which you saw in last week's video, I was actually wearing it, but uh, I didn't really talk through it too much. Um, this is also an Essentials Club video tutorial. Um, so check that out too. This is um, like Japanese crinkle cotton. I actually have a lot more and I was going to use it for like this really intricate top. But again, just like my yarn, I don't want my fabric just to sit in my stash for a really long time. So if I have an idea to use it, I'm going to use it. That's like my new, uh, my new motto. Uh, for fabrics and yarn. So, cause you can always get more fabric. You just gotta use the ones that you own. So that's really what I'm going for. And of course, you know, my halter top, uh, not really gonna talk too much about this, but yeah, this was definitely inspired by this trip because I, at the time then like booked the trip. Um, so yeah, very excited to wear that too. Um, finally, something that I just finished actually, uh, really just in the nick of time because I am boarding a plane tomorrow, but I actually made a bathing suit, you guys, a two piece bathing suit. I'm so proud of it. Um, it's kind of crinkled. Um, so gosh, I went to my local craft store, um, and where I usually get some notions and things and they didn't have like elastic that's appropriate for bathing suits. So I don't really know how this is going to fare, but I wanted to try and make one anyway with what I could find and source. So this is some bathing suit material. And yeah, I think the reason that it's like kind of crinkly like this is because I'm not using like um, chlorine elastic. So these could potentially just break uh, while I'm there, <laughs> um, which it would be a shame. Maybe I could fix it somehow, but uh, yeah, I'm just proud that I was able to make it and I actually traced them from uh, an existing pair of bikini bottoms. And then I found a top pattern on Etsy for this one shoulder uh, look, which I think is really cute. Uh, so I found it on Etsy and I'll leave a link. For the bottoms, I followed a tutorial by Jenna Phipps. Um, she does like, she did an entire video on how to trace existing uh, bikini pieces and create your own pattern from it. So that's what I did for the bottoms. For this one, I didn't have anything that's one shoulder. So I was really looking for a pattern and I'm glad I found it. Um, yeah, do I look crazy? Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be in contact as much as I can while I'm on my trip. Um, maybe there will be a video, maybe not, uh, next week. So I'll keep you guys posted, but thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy knitting and DIY content like this, and I'll see you next time.
Bye.